What's up, you guys, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Eclipse. So, last time we made our way to, well, Iris Town, or that's what I believe I call it because I completely forgot the name. Okay, so let's double check. Yeah, it's called Iris Town. So, as you can see, there are a bunch of Scorpi invading the town. And also it has been like a month since I uploaded another episode. So I learned a few new things. So as you can see, I can rewind what I was doing, which looks hilarious. And I can fast forward now. So battling would be really easy now. And yeah, let's just jump into the episode. So I believe we're going to stop these Scorpies. So yeah, let's quickly battle it. Okay, before I buy it, I want to check out the rewind. Look at that, it looks so cool. I can do it for like an hour or so. Okay, I'm just gonna battle now. Okay, so while battling, I completely remembered about our team. So as you can see, Ninja and Starling evolved. And they learned a few new moves, so let me just quickly show them to you. So as you can see, Ninja now knows Pound, Lick, Water Pulse, and Quick Attack. QB has like the same moves. And Starling has Tackle, Endeavor, Quick Attack, and Wing Attack. So yeah, I believe they're going to be great Pokemon to our team. And I think I will put Starling up in front. So yeah, let's do that. And with that, let's continue. Well, Isquinos will arrive shortly to help with the situation here. We've managed to clear a path to Crystal Cave, where their nest seems to be. I'll be heading there myself now. I trust you two can handle things here for you now. Rebecca and I will manage to keep the town safe for now. Be safe, correct? I hope you managed to block off the Scorpion nest. So, as you can see, there are a few ace trainers here to help. Oh, what are you doing outside? The town's not safe at the moment. Something has got into the Scorpion and they're going wild. You should stay at the Pokemon Center until this is over. Oh, and you know that we are, we are not going to do that. So yeah, let's quickly make our way to, you know, the place where this seems to be happening. Okay, so let's quickly battle these fruit trainers and then we'll continue. are just awesome like every pokemon they encounter is just one hit ko like that's awesome so they're a great addition to our team and it looks like we made our way to crystal cave and as you can see there's some ace trainers battling not gonna help them so yeah let's just make our way to crystal cave and with that we're in this cave i guess i'll just speed through this area because it's just me battling you know, a bunch of Scorpi. So now up there is our major opponent and prepared I have a few strategies so we're going to start off with QB so my strategy is using fire spin now this opponent is extremely tough and that drapion is just overpowered so as you can see it's even defeated Garrett how can it be so strong it's as if it's possessed okay let me handle the drapion it's too strong for you. Oh, come on, Gret. We can totally defeat that Rapion. That's what it was like when I was first playing this game. 
then I saw that level, and as you can see, level 28. So yeah, I'm gonna use Fire Spin, and then I'm gonna use Confuse Ray, and yeah, let's hope for the best. So as you just saw, that did so much damage, but we landed that Fire Spin, and yeah. So now it's gonna be a breathe through, and I guess I'll go for a Confuse Ray. I think we are going to die this turn, but you know what, let's just go for it. So there you go, it went for Poison Fang, and QB is down. So, I have another strategy that is to use Starling. Now Starling knows the move Endeavor, so I guess that could come in handy. So, let's hope that we survive just one hit, and then we'll go for Endeavor. So there you go, it went for Pursue. Okay, perfect. And not perfect, because Starling is down. That Drapion hit a critical hit. Now that's annoying. I guess I'll go for Ninja now, and let's hope that Water Pulse confuses it. I'm definitely not losing this battle. I'm definitely not losing this battle. And you know what, let's go for Lick. Let's hope we paralyze it, and Ninja might... Okay, this Repion is just hitting critical hits here and there. This is annoying. I was not expecting me to lose this battle. But I guess Simba can do it. Come on, Simba. I hope you can do it. Let's go for Spark and let's hope for the best. Now don't poison me. Okay, there you go. So I guess we can take one more of those poison fans and all. Okay, so it went for Pin Missile. And can we survive it? I don't know. Okay, perfect. So I believe I have a few potions, but I'm not too sure about that. Let's see. I misclicked there and do we have a few potions? I hope we do. And apparently not. So great, we're going to lose this battle. Totally not what I was expecting, but I guess, or you know what, we can still win. And nope. Great. Okay, time for round two. Let's hope I don't mess this up again. So I'm gonna go for the same strategy. And this time it's going for acupressure. So that's not good. But okay, we landed that fire spin and I hope we can win this time. Okay, so now I'm gonna go for Confuse Ray, and now I hope I can win. Okay, we're doing good, let's just hope we win this time, and with that all my Pokemon are down except, you know, our starter. So Simba has to do it, I hope he can. I don't want to lose again. Come on, Simba. And great. Five HP, come on, Simba. You can do it. Are you kidding me? Simba hit a crit. That's just mind blowing. I'm out of words right now. That's dedication right there. And we won! That, that's great! That was very impressive! What's your name, trainer? Nice to meet you, Ash. I'm Gareth, the leader of the Devon's Ace Trainers. We work for the Devon Corporation and sometimes help with incidents like this one in Iris. You should consider becoming one of us, Ash. You're good. 
that Drapion seemed to calm down while you were battling with it. And the Scorpi seemed to be going back to normal as well. I'll be going to let the Elder know. Don't worry, I'll make sure to tell him you helped. Thank you, Ash. And with that, we... Well, we defeated that Drapion. And for those who are wondering, we cannot catch it. I have tried it before, and yeah. So I'll be back once I've healed our Pokemon. Okay, so we're back in Iris, and as you can see, the weather is clear and all. So now, should we take on the gym in this episode? I think we can. So yeah, let's just go for it, and we're going to the gym. So I'm gonna start out with Starling. So yeah. Let's go to the gym and we're challenging Rebecca, I believe. So yeah, G leader Rebecca. So let's talk to this guy. How's it going, champ in the making? Iris Towns is gym leader Rebecca, commands bulk type Pokemon. Going against her with grass type Pokemon is asking for trouble. You can squash these bulk types with fire, flying, or rock types. The next room of the gym is as dark as the ocean flow. It will get brighter after defeating the trainers in your way. So yeah, that's the main tactic of this gym. And I, I think I should get, give the XP share to Ninja. Because he's not going to be doing much in this gym. So yeah, let's take the item. And let's give the XP share to Ninja. And I believe QB is going to be playing a big role in this gym. So yeah, there you go. We gave it the XP share. And you know what? Let's keep QB up in front. Or Starly is fine. So with that, let's go. So here's our first gym battle. I never lose when it comes to bug type Pokemon. Okay, so I'm back and now let's take on Rebecca. So I think I'm gonna start out with QB. So yeah. So let's begin the battle. It's you! How do you like this gym? It's been made to resemble a durant nest. I must admit, you're really brave, ignoring my advice and going to help the ace trainers handle the Scarby situation. On top of that, he defeated the Drapion that seemed to be the cause of the problem. Well, enough talk. You're here for the Pinter Badge, are you not? Even though you managed to defeat a very powerful Drapion, facing against a trainer is quite different. Strategy is more important than strength. The seemingly frail Buck Pokemon can handle any type of threat when used correctly. Show me your worth, Ash. So yeah, now we're battling Rebecca, and she has a very simple team to defeat. So as you can see, there's a Durant, and that's why I started out with QB. So we're going for that fire spin, hoping that we land, and that did a lot of damage. So these Durants are strong, and at least we defeated, defeated this one. So we gained a lot of XP, and yeah, now I'm gonna switch for a dust tox. So let's switch into Starling. And I'm gonna quickly defeat that dust tox. So she mostly has bug Pokemon, of course. And 
all of them are weak to well starling and the dust or and the Duran are weak to Kilby. So that's why this is a pretty easy battle. And with that I believe we are about to take down Dust Ox. So let's quickly hit this wing attack and we can knock it down. So there you go, it's in the red. And I'm gonna go for a quick attack. So there you go, with that Dust Ox is down. So and then you gained a lot of XP. And now Starling gains him too. And now we have Durant. So I'm not gonna go for QB because she is weak. So I'm gonna go for Simba. So yeah, let's change things up a bit. And there you go. So I think I'll go for a Shockwave. So the Durant uses Furry Cutter. And that did some okay amount of damage. And let's see how much Shockwave does. Okay, almost half. So yeah. So Simba just is like at ready health. And with that, we're about to take down Durant. So let's see, I'll go for a bite, even though we're going to go down. And now I guess I'll switch into Starling. So Starling has quick attack. And with that, I believe we're going to defeat the Durant. So yeah, with that, we defeated the Durant and the final Pokemon is... I'm still waiting. Okay. So, Starling grew a level. I'm not going to teach it Whirlwind. Yes. Oh, come on. This is annoying. So, yeah, we're gonna stop learning that. And her final Pokemon is a Swadloo. So, pretty easy. We can quickly take it down. And there you go. Wing attack to the face. And Swadloon is down. So great, that was pretty easy. And everyone is gaining a bunch of XP. I knew you were strong, but I'm really impressed. The way you battle is a perfect balance between strategy and strength. Very impressive. You can have the pincer badge to show you beat me. So we got the pincer badge from Rebecca, pretty nice. So now let's see what she has to say. The pincer badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey you. But there's more. You can now use the move Rock Smash anytime, even out of battle, to open new pathways or find rare items and wild Pokemon. We can also have the TM. So we got TM33, which is infestation. This move traps the opponent and deals damage to it for four to five turns. So yeah, there you go. And I believe that is it for today's episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. So until next time, Pika guys, bye bye.